Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read Step by Step, Book 2, Unit 3, Write a Friendly Message. Unit Objective, Writing a Friendly Letter or Email. Organization, Spatial Order. Reading A, Discuss. Close your eyes and think about what you did yesterday. Answer the question. Then describe the scene to your partner. Use sensory details. Activity B. Read. Read Jennifer's letter. October 11, 2008. Dear May, how are you? I'm thinking of you today. I feel homesick. I often think of you and all of my friends in China. I miss everyone. I'm sitting at my desk and looking out the window. It's raining here in New York. Outside, there are many people on the sidewalk. All of them are wearing coats and carrying umbrellas. Everyone is hurrying because it's such a rainy day. I am very happy to be dry now. I was not feeling happy all year. I had some bad luck this afternoon. After school, my friend Keisha and I were walking to a restaurant. We wanted a snack. A lot of buses and cars were driving up and down the street. One of the cars went through a puddle of water and splashed me. I was upset and cold. We ran to the restaurant. Inside the restaurant, it was loud but warm. I felt a little better. Kisha and I sat down. Kisha looked into her backpack and took out her gym towel. She gave it to me. That was really nice of her. The towel was a scratch on my face. It smelled clean and fresh. I was happy to be dry. Kisha and I looked around the restaurant. There was a family by the window. There were many Men and women at the counter, there were a few desserts on the counter. There was some apple pie too. Kisha and I ate a piece of pie. The apples were sweet and the crust was salty. It was great. I was finally all warm and dry. In the end, Kisha and I laughed about when the car splashed me. I love being with Kisha. She is a really great friend. I hope you are well. Are you learning English? Can you read my letter? I hope you are not having difficulty in school. Did you like my story? Please write soon. My parents send the best to your parents. Your friend, Jennifer. Page 32, vocabulary. Find each word in the reading on page 30. Look at the words around it to guess the meaning. Compare your answers with a partner. Noun, verbs, adjectives, expression. Activity B, what do these sensory adjectives describe in the reading on page 30? Study, write the words in the correct column. Remember, you can use sensory adjectives to add detail. Sensory adjectives describe how something looks, feels, tastes, or smells. C. Complete the sentences about Jennifer's day. Use the correct form of the words in the box. Page 33. Grammar box. Continuous tenses. 진행 시제. Present continuous tense. Past continuous tense. I'm thinking of you today. Kisha and I were walking to a restaurant. Everyone is hurrying to get to a dry place. Buses and cars were driving up and down the street. Use the present continuous to describe an event that is happening in the present. Use the past continuous to describe an event that started, continued for a while, and ended in the past. Activity A. What was everyone doing yesterday? Change the sentences to the past continuous tense. Statements with the there was, there were. Activity B. Complete the sentences below. The quantity adjectives tell how much of something there is. All of, many, a lot, some, a few, a little, one of, no, not any. Find each quantity adjective in the reading on page 30. Write the complete sentences, then Rewrite each sentence, replacing the quantity adjective. Notice how the meaning changes. Writing strategy, spatial description. Spatial, remember box, spatial descriptions often use prepositions or prepositional phrases. They tell where something is located or where an action takes place. I'm sitting at my desk and looking out my window. Complete the sentences from the reading with the correct preposition. Use each word only once. Writing conventions. Greetings and closing. 인사말, 매진말. 
Correct the following greetings and closing. Write two more greetings and closings on the lines. Remember box. Friendly letters use informal language. Greetings and closings are informal and familiar. Both greetings and closings are followed by commas. In a greeting, the comma comes after the addressee's name. In a closing, the comma comes before the sender's name. All words in greetings and closings are capitalized. Dear Sarah, hello Sarah, fondly Jesse, your friend Jesse. Remember box, you can use a spatial order to describe a place. Spatial order gives information by location or the way the writer sees places. In the reading on page 30, Jennifer described the, st the restaurant the way she's, she's just seeing it. Page 36, writing a friendly letter or email. 안부 편지 쓰기. In a friendly letter or email, the author writes an informal message to a friend or family member. The heading gives the date of the letter. The greeting says hello to the receiver. The body...